Hello everyone and welcome back to my channel. This is Heike and you're watching Stone Cold Coffee Crafts and I already promised you there would be another Diamond Shop unboxing for this month because I declared December Diamond Shop month on my channel. Um, if you haven't watched it yet, please check out my last unboxing and the charity event I was talking about. You might want to join in. I'm going to link the video down below and if I can remember it will be also up there in the cards. Um, but this one I actually ordered before I even knew about the event. Um, you know, if you order from Diamond Shop, most of the uh, images, uh, most of the paintings are made to order. So you have to wait for a few weeks to get, get it ready. And coincidentally, this painting shipped out, I think, a day or two before they contacted me if I would like to be part of the event. So this has been standing in my living room for a few days now. And I thought it was time to unbox this. And something I noticed when I just picked it up. Can you hear that? Something in there is open. <laughs> so uh, I'm a bit worried. Um, let's, let's have a look, shall we? Oh, by the way, last year around Christmas, they started doing this as well with a, with a satin ribbon. Um, super pretty. This whole package has a very summery look to it. <laughs> kind of out of season, if you ask me. But that doesn't matter at all. It's just fun to open up pretty packages, isn't it? So let's try to open. And not to struggle too much. I contemplated just f speeding up this whole thing. But then I thought maybe you like to see me struggle. And I don't want to deprive you of your pleasure. <laughs> uh, let's see. Can we, ooh. This is always so secure. I say that every time, don't I? Nearly there. So plastic be gone. And then we have how do we open this the easiest? <laughs> Let's cut through this. Pretty but also sturdy. To the careful part because I don't, yeah, yep, yeah, yep, yeah, yep. Yeah. Something broke completely open, and I have an idea what. Looks like one of my purple beads broke open. Ooh, this has never happened before. Very strange, very, very strange. I have to be very careful here. Trying not to lose too many of the beads. the toolkit. I've not seen that before. All right, 
right, so basically what happened here is the bag broke open just a tiny bit here at the seam. And that's what spilled all into the bag. It's, it's color 327 and you can see how full it's supposed to be and how much of it um, has spilled out. So I'm going to speed this up again now and um, spare you to watch me struggle for an eternity, but I want to get all the drills out of the bag and secured before I um, continue with that. Or maybe I can... No, let's do that first. I'm going to speed it up. to me like I was able to save the good majority of it um, yeah <laughs> good I guess um, if it has to happen it has to happen like this where you just struggle for 15 minutes why not usually and you have seen that in my previous unboxings the packaging is usually so good that nothing ever spills out. This is literally the first time I had a single spilled drill in my package from Diamond Shop. So let's just put the rest of them in here too. And get rid of the, of the broken bag before anything else happens. And because I'm lazy, I'm going to cut out the number and put it in here. All right, and take Lola out of the box, of the out of the back. All right, back to the movie. So <laughs> that would be my bag of three twenty-seven, and let's have a look at this kit proper, shall we? All right, so. I already held the toolkit up. Um, once again, different packaging. This time not in the organza bags they used recently. But other than that, same toolkit. We have two of these green boats, two pens with a single placer. We have the seven placer. Can I? I think, yeah, there, you can see it. Seven placer, tweezers, piece of wax. Then we have two bags of baggies, which are usually enough to um, hold all of your drills. And what was special with this particular kit, this was one of the October uh, special offers where you could choose, could choose for some of Anna Dittman's painting, which kind of um, special treatment you wanted on them without paying extra for it. And I picked purple pearls because the options were purple pearls and, and uh, uh, electric diamonds, but I already have worked with electric diamonds and I wanted to do AB diamonds on, on this painting here, which is called Drift. It's one of the new paintings Diamond Shop, Diamond Shop added to um, their Anna Dittman collection. And I thought this would make the perfect third painting for my living room wall. Um, if you don't remember, quite a few months ago I purchased a couple of paintings um, from Anna Dittman when she started her artist collaboration with Diamond Shop to go on my living room door, uh, living room wall behind my couch. There's a huge wall that has nothing on it. Um, one of the paintings you're going to see me work on this month, which would be Frost, the giant one, the 90 by 63, I think it is. I also bought one which is called Adorn. You can find the final review. And I believe also a whip and chat with that painting on my channel. I'm going to link that in the description below. But I always wanted to put up three because odd numbers are just more 
pleasant for the eye. And I was looking for a third painting. I had one in mind, but I wasn't completely in love with it. And then I saw Drift and I, I fell in love instantly. So, long story short, I bought Drift, as I always do, in the biggest size available. And I recently had a person drop a comment asking me, um, why do you like big sizes? Well, details, it's all in the details. Only the big sizes will give you the best details. And that being said, let me introduce you to the gorgeous Drift. She's so pretty. She's also going to be pretty dark compared to Frost and Adorn. Because for both paintings the majority color was actually light. But maybe this also makes a pretty nice contrast. She's the middle size. So Adorn was a 40 by 55, I believe. Maybe a 40 by 50. She is a 50 by 70. And then of course the giant Frost. Um, yeah. I have to see how I arrange them on the wall, but I am pretty sure it's going to look amazing once it's done. Um, legend. Let's pick up the legend. This painting has 34 colors, which for Diamond Shop is a very low number of colors. Um, but yeah, as you can see from, from the image, it is actually a pretty dark image, so I think 34 colors are amazing. As always, some parts are pretty confetti heavy, um, but I can see that are there, there are certain parts where there is actually quite a bit of color blocking, um, at least for Diamond Shop. Color blocking for Diamond Shop means you can probably use your your multi-placers a couple of times. Um, like here, which, which looks like all purple, that's actually two different symbols mixed into each other. But here's a bit of color blocking. Down here is a bit of color blocking. So yeah, I prefer confetti over color blocking. So I'm happy with that. Confetti is alive. Even the disrespectful one. <laughs> so this is also one of the new canvases with this um, legend, which is not attached on the canvas, but is made of the canvas material. Um, the canvas as itself also has this gray frame, which is actually kind of pretty. And what I also notice it is that it's perfectly cut. It's really perfectly cut. There is not a crooked edge anywhere, neither on the, on the legend. It's just very perfectly accurately cut. I mean, they, they didn't use a ruler or anything, but you can see that it was cut with a, with scissors. But it just, it just looks good. The canvas, though, I think might have been cut with... It's very straight. Sorry I'm going on about that, but usually when you get canvases um, that don't have the, the scalloped and, and um, um, hoon edges, um, then you usually have at least some crooked lines somewhere. So that's that's pretty awesome. So if you want to, you can actually mount this canvas once it's done on foam board or maybe an MDF um, piece or whatever. And you could be done with that. You don't need a frame because you already have the gray frame around it. Of course, you have the diamond shop label down here, but you can get creative. You can add something here if you don't want to see that. Um, and add something special to your painting. I always recommend that. I'm still thinking about what I'm going to do with kimono because I'm not going to just frame her. That would be too boring. But I have a couple of ideas that involve the, the fan that was part of the limited kit and also something else. I'm not going to spill the beans on quite yet. <laughs> so, anyway. You are not interested in that. You want to see the canvas close up to see that it's extremely clear. And as I like to say, Diamond Shop does not use training circles. Um, but it's not, if you're intimidated by that, it's not hard to place a drill correctly, even if you don't have training wheels, because you'd still have the background square with the color telling you where to place your drill. It's, it's really just 
it's just fear in your head and once you've done it believe me you you will have no issues doing a canvas like that and you will really appreciate that you don't see any circles coming out behind your doodles either at least i do and i believe you would feel the same because it's it's just so annoying if you spend hours and hours and hours on a painting and it looks really awesome but something is off and you notice that it's actually black circles coming out uh, behind your light colored drills i've had that too many times <laughs> all right um what else diamond shop uses port glue and we can do the stick test it is very sticky And I think that's pretty much all I can tell you right now. Um, yeah, anyway, as I said, I have linked the video to the charity event unboxing down below. Please check it out if you haven't so yet. Um, if you would like to support, I give all the information on how to support the event in the video as well. Also, don't feel bad if you can't support it. I know not everyone has the means to do that, but um, it would still be appreciated if you could maybe share the news that this event is running, that people could join in and help out by getting beautiful diamond paintings for themselves to enjoy. Um, also, that they have a chance to win this painting I am unboxing in my other video without having to pay for anything, of course. You don't have to buy anything to get it. So. If you could just spread the news, that was, would help so much and would be so appreciated too, even if you can't give anything. Yeah, and that's that's all I'm, I'm having today, <laughs> as well as a minor blackout right now. Okay, guys, I hope you have a wonderful day, a wonderful week. I will be back very soon with something else to show you. Um, and until then, I leave you to it. I will talk to you very, very soon. Bye, guys.